Hey, listen though. You don't have to be you don't have to continue being punished for the shit your parents and your grandfather and all them did before you got here. You don't have to continue to be punished for that. You can heal yourself. And when you work on yourself, you heal seven generations back when the seven generations forward. Hey, listen. When you do evil, you pass that shit on to your children. If you a puss ass nigga or a faggot ass bitch and you just do faggot puss ass shit all day, I'm talking about shit that's not right. I ain't talking about like your sexual preference. That don't have nothing to do with nothing. I'm talking about your heart, your intentions. If your intentions of your heart is fucked up, you do pussy shit all day, your children gonna be cursed. You can be free. You can be free. You can be free from the generational curses. You can be free from the loop of dysfunction, the loop of chaos. But someone had left a comment on my last video and said, you know, there's something within our people. It's like a DNA. It's like deep rooted within our DNA, like a... Um, like a mental illness or something that's deep is deep rooted and and what that's called is a generational curse okay somewhere down the line of our um, genealogy there's been and it's not all melanated people you know some melanated people literally our grandparents or our great grandparents broke curses. So now we're reaping the benefits of them breaking those those curses. Some others, their grandparents, great grandparents, parents didn't break curses. So you're reaping the consequences of their decisions. But you have the power to end it. When you make the choice to end it, you don't just end it for you, but you end it for your legacy. You're not just healing yourself. You're healing your your lineage. You're healing the, the those behind you, and you're healing those that will come before you. This is what it means to be the chosen one. This is what it means. And this is why everybody can't say just because you have melanin that you're chosen. No. Being the chosen one means you are the one that was brought here to break the curses, to break the spell. And when you do that, you will heal generations forward. That is the mantle that you carry. Do you know how like amazing that is? And it's not through getting a bunch of information. It's not through doing a bunch of external shit is not through labels or you know saying like oh i'm in the spiritual community now oh i'm a galactic being oh i'm this oh i'm that doesn't mean shit breaking the curses is one taking accountability for yourself taking account Letting, literally sitting down with yourself and looking at how you have perpetuated and looped dysfunction within your own life. What is dysfunctional in your life? What is dysfunctional in your thinking right now? What is dysfunctional in your relationships right now? You know, the dysfunction, calling it out being honest about it this is this is where i'm i've been functioning in dysfunction okay so you have to really really ask yourself okay do i function like this in my relationships with people because this is what my mother did okay um or this is what my father did all right like you have to really sit with yourself somebody had commented another person had commented on one of my videos and said you know, no, we don't need healing. We need accountability. And I was like, you dumbass, not dumbass. Nobody's dumb, but just ignorant. You know, 
that's another thing y'all please if you're gonna comment on the videos like just please come with like intellect because i just can't stand just irrelevant dumb ass remarks healing is accountability you can't heal without accountability like how can you heal and become better and you're not accountable to yourself it's one in the same healing is accountability healing is self-reflection oh let me tell you something let me tell your ass something there is no accountability there is no reflection that compares to healing like when you, like that's why i'm like i think people people think healing is i don't know like some church type of one day experience like no the fuck and there's this magical fluffy shit no <laughs> no no it's work this is work do you know how hard it is to sit with yourself to sit with yourself and to be honest with you to be alone within your own psyche and to literally dissect yourself and reflect this is why people need help with that you need a therapist you need a spiritual guide you need a counselor because we help to trigger those we ask questions that you may not even be aware or be cognizant of asking yourself like huh i didn't think of it like that wow i didn't see it that way you know what i'm saying so this is why having a guide or something it helps you and i love how he said that every decision that you make it affects your children like i really 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 i really 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 want to see our people to begin to live life from ahead okay one thing that plagues our community is that we are very surface minded we we only see here we're not thinking ahead like other community or other races or species of people you know they leave their kids generational wealth they leave their kids their businesses and shit because they think ahead you know um one of my good friends is vietnamese all right her and her husband were going through some crazy stuff i was like why don't you just leave him and just divorce she's like because of my children our children i don't want my children to suffer so they worked through their shit for the sake of their kids and they really like are doing good now you know got a new location for their business and you know they're doing good and i really believe that if we would start to live from that perspective while still maintaining a sense of presence but just being cognizant of i have little people watching me little people are watching us and everything that we do is is laying the foundation for what they will do okay and this is just it all right really like a lot of y'all are ashamed of the way that your parents did things but you're not ashamed enough to start thinking about well how do my kids see me living you know you just repeat the same shit it doesn't make sense you know, a lot of a lot of you may have come from single mother households and you didn't like it like you didn't like not having your father there you didn't like you know seeing your mom having to work two three jobs and depressed and struggling and lights off and you didn't like that shit you didn't like being in a fatherless home okay but you do the same you're doing the same thing and that's laying the foundation for what the little human you created will do as well so this is why we have to start thinking from ahead if you think from ahead then you'll stop just opening up your legs opening up your universe to people that have not committed themselves to you fully to people who have not deemed themselves worthy of bearing your seed okay and taking care of your seed and like i said in the beginning you're not doomed to your situation okay 
where you are right now is not your final your current situation is not your final destination you have the power to change you just have to realize i'm not laying a good foundation for my, for the generations ahead of me these are the same programmings that my mother and grandmother and great grandmother did and i just don't want to repeat that there's still time to create new programs for your children you know and and for yourself first and then for your children because this is the reality when you heal Everybody else around you in your world starts to heal. And this is what all my clients say. They're like, damn, when I started healing, I noticed my mama started like opening up about stuff. And I wasn't even talking to her about it. She just started opening up to me. Yes, this is how this works. You send out a different frequency when you heal. So everyone around you begins to pick up on your frequency. And then they begin to heal. This is the power that we have, especially as the melanated woman. When we heal as womb man, the world around us heals. Like, and it's so powerful. It's so fucking powerful. It is so powerful to be the divine feminine archetype and to heal and then begin to send out that frequency to your to your lineage and to and to your legacy and to know that you bear that that gift. Oh my god. Oh my God! Like y'all think y'all are goddesses now? Psh, please start healing. Start healing, and then start seeing the world around you heal. And just like everything you touch is healthy. <sighs> Everyone that surrounds you is becoming better. Everyone around you is like winning. Like they're healing. They're blossoming. They're flourishing. Man, it's very powerful. It's very magical. It's 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 a gift. It's a gift. This is why, you know, a lot of people. This is what it means when many are called, few are chosen, and even less than that make the grade. Shout out to my brother that be telling me that all the time. Even less than that make the grade, and this is why. A lot of people aren't aware of what it means to heal and the power of healing. It takes you being the chosen one to break through the matrix, to break through the programming. The toxicity, the generational dysfunction, like generational curses, y'all, that shit is like, man, that's DNA. That's information within your cells. <laughs> like, like, it's deep. It's deep. So for you to wake up to the realization that I don't want to be like this. Like, I don't want to repeat this stuff. I need to really heal. I need to sit with myself. I need to do different. I need to be 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 different so that I can lay a new foundation, a healthy foundation, a functional foundation, not just for me, but for seven generations ahead of me. It's power. It's power. You know, so um I'm not gonna make this too long, like at all, y'all. <laughs> I'm just like getting so freaking close. My official due date that the doctors gave me is July 30th. So that's like tomorrow or the next day. And I, I'm just, I'm feeling, I'm, I, I, I can't even explain how I'm feeling, but I'm feeling, feeling it. All right, so um, heal, break the curses. The power lies within you. You just have to make the choice. You have to choose, choose, peace.